We're back. Uh, it's uh, it's Navi time. Uh, Bikes in here. I don't have a screen on the back of my phone, so hopefully that was in frame. Um, but I got uh, some parts in to fix the, I guess you might call it the hazard flash thing that we had going on after we replaced the tail tidy and tried to put in all LED turn signals. Um, that was uh, a learning experience, but I got a pack of diodes, um, cheapo Amazon ones. I can put a link in the description for that. Um, we got uh, our terminal connector kit. I have a bunch of wiring I have had left over from, from things. My uh, Sharpie <laughs> diagram. And we have the Navi. Um, let's pop off the headlight. That comes off stupid easy. There are one, two, three, four screws that are number two JIS. And then undo that headlight connector and the whole thing is off. Woohoo. Um, what we're trying to do today though, so let me, let me try and explain this the best I can. Um, the problem all arises because the Navi has a single light for if your turn signals are on. It doesn't have a left and a right, it just has the one. Um, that incandescent light doesn't care which side is the positive and which side is the negative. So when we're using incandescence on everything else, it was really easy for them to have the positive of each of those circuits, since only one is gonna be activated at a time. Those are what's feeding that, the two sides of that light bulb. So left turn signal, the left is positive and it grounds out through the right side since it's, um, there's not actually resistance flowing or there's not actually energy flowing through there. It just needs to basically ground itself out in the opposite light bulb. And then if you flip it to the other direction, it's the same thing. So when you're using LEDs that are sensitive to a very small amount of current, that that's a problem. That's a very, very big problem. So um, that's where our issues come from. And I hope I explained that correctly. It It's stupid to me, but yeah, that, that's what it is. So what we're trying to do inside this headlight bucket is this black connector here, this goes up to your, your gauge cluster. What I want to do is make a pigtail that goes in between the two. Um, this might be helpful if I draw it out. Let me get a pen and stuff. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna flip this over. All right, so we have our diode, or our, our, our incandescent, or our dash light basically. Um, you know, and the, the way it's set up right now, you basically have your, your left turn signal coming in or your right turn signal coming in, and then it grounds out through the opposite one. What we wanna do instead is have left come in through a diode, right come in through a diode so that it can't go back backwards into those other circuits. It can only go the one way. And then this, we're gonna ground like a normal ground would be. Um, so I, apparently I'm not very good at writing and filming, so pardon, pardon that, but that's where we're at today. So I am going to do some movie magic and uh, get the majority of this bracket, or not bracket, this harness fabbed up, um, and I will see you all in about, I don't know, now. Holy crap, that was fastly built. No, that took, um, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to do this. So our, this is a little harness we're gonna jump in. The, on the main harness, this is a white yellow. I just had yellow though. The brown and the black just pass straight through. Um, since we need to ground this light bulb, what I did was I made this little Y. So this is just soldered together here in the middle. Um, taking the existing ground going into the harness. One will go into where it was existing in that harness already. And then this one will go to one side of our light bulb. So that'll be this side. And then here we are taking what was our positive turn signal, positive turn signal, so blue and orange, and are now taking that into the positive side of the light bulb. So that's this, this, this. Um, here's our little diodes. These are just little, uh, I think they're three amp, 40 volt shot key uh, diodes. 
I am hoping that this won't see more than 40 volts of backwards um, voltage, but if I need to upgrade those, I would say I have a few other choices. There's some like thousand volts on here, but I wanted the speed of a, a shocky diode just in case. Um, so really all I need to do is plug these two into this side, that into this side, these into those, and then pop it in. Um, I do also need to replace these turn signals real quick, which is real easy. So uh, I believe this is a 14 millimeter bolt here. That pops out, you plug in the new one where it unplugs, so ground and signal. Um, I'm not gonna show that on camera. If you're getting this far into the wiring, I would hope that you can do one bolt and uh, two bullet connections. Um, one thing I will say though, is I did uh, 3D print a little bracket to hold the turn signal in. Um, I believe this was 30 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 10. And then each of the two levels is two millimeters tall. You could probably make that with a couple washers if you wanted. I just have a 3D film, uh, 3D printer, so that made that easy. All right, we're gonna check back in in another minute once this is all on the bike. We're done. Um, so sorry about the, it's 11 degrees outside, which means my furnace is running. So there's a little bit of noise with that. Uh, this is what our finished harness looks like. Apparently I'm not very good at judging <laughs> wire length, but that's okay. Uh, all the important pins are there. It fits, whatever. So to remind everyone of what it was doing before, let's connect the stock dash back together. So this is what it was doing before. I need to flip the camera around. One sec. This is what we were doing before. Both of the stock harness put together. Both are blinking. Turn that off so we don't get an annoying click, 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 click. All right, so let's go new harness into connector going to the dash. That. Hopefully to click in. So we're gonna do a minute of shaky cam there. There we go. That's clicked in. And then we're gonna go the other end into here. Um, and let's see. <laughs> Ta-da! Freaking works. Let's make sure that the back's behaving. Okay. No flashing, no flashing. That one's flashing. Sweet! Oh god, I hit a rock. Oh god. Well, that just ruined the entire video. I'm kidding. Um, nothing can bring me down right now. This is awesome. This works. Uh, here's a closer look at those little brackets I made. Um, it was like a 20 minute print. I'll put uh, an STL in the description. If you happen to have a printer, I really need to get some black filament, but this is like maybe three minutes on Tinkercad. It's literally three circles, but I am pumped. Um, but yeah, I am pumped that this works. Super excited. Uh, there'll be links to everything down below. Uh, the, the, the diodes I ordered, I think were 14 bucks. And then I had everything else before. Um, I mean, maybe if there's enough interest, this is just a harness I could make. I don't know. Let me know uh, if it's worth it to you. I could be probably convinced to make some and send them out, but We'll see. Uh, thanks, thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I made stupid videos on YouTube, never expected more than a couple people to watch them. So I'm really happy y'all are here. Uh, keep watching. Um, like I said, we're gonna keep working on it. One more thing, uh, man, lots of one more things today. <laughs> if you wanna know how I did this without Hyperflash as well, I have another video. Um, maybe we'll see if I can figure out how to put it up here. Uh, about how I replaced the flasher relay with an adjustable one. Um, an adjustable one meant for LEDs. So, uh, go check that out too. I'm the worst. There's one more thing I forgot. <laughs> uh, there are kits out there you can buy. Um, Bike Master, I think, has one. Uh, Yoshimura, out of all places, has one that are, I think the term that you can search is metric bike turn signal kit or or something like that where it's basically two it's that y-shaped diode plug 
you would still have to go into your your headlight bucket, um, snip the orange and the blue wires going into that little bulb that's up by the dash, and wire this in in its place, add a ground, and then you'd be good to go. Um, for me, I had the connectors, I had the wire, I don't want to cut into the wiring harness in case I ever want to turn it back to stock or something else comes up that I want to do. So this is what worked for me. Um, those other kits are 15, 20 bucks. If that makes sense for you and your abilities, uh, there's no, no shame in that. It's, it's the same thing. It's a couple diodes, it's some wire, um, and that may make sense for you. So I promise this is the last, uh, PS. So truly thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.